Hey, what's up everybody? So today I'm working on this 2005 Toyota 4Runner and I'm changing out the AC compressor and I'm changing out the dryer, a few different things on it. And I also wanted to change out the expansion valve. So I was trying to see exactly where it was located. Everybody's saying, okay, it's under the dash. Um, and also they were saying that the dash has to be removed in order to get this out of here. And it was gonna take about a three hour job. So I wanted to show y'all exactly what I did in order to get this expansion valve out of here. And so that way, if you're doing this job, you don't exactly have to remove the entire dash in this vehicle. So to start off with, I removed the bottom panel that was down here. It's held on by one screw. Once that came out of the way, I was, the one screw was able to remove that. The other thing that I had to remove next was the glove box. And you'll need to push in on the two sides, left and right of the glove box, swing it down and unhook it from these tabs here. Now there's another little book tray that's gonna be sitting right here and it's held on by two Phillips screws on both sides. Oh, uh, sorry, it's uh, held on by a Phillips screw there, 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 and right there. So you can pull that out the way. Now the next thing I, was, I needed to undo was all of the screws holding on this box right here. It's got several different screws in a few different locations, so I'm trying to point them all out. There's one there, one there, one back here, another one right there. I'm trying to make sure I don't miss any. That isn't a screw right there. It just simply pulls right out. Um, so there is, this box is also held up by a support or whatever you might want to call it, like a little clip right back there. And in order to get that to undo itself because it's it's hooked over in in this type of manner so what you need to do is instead of pulling the box in a downward motion you need to actually push the box up as high as possible and shift the box that way and that will allow that to undo itself also before i before i move that over i need to disconnect the computer that is hanging out behind here and it's held on up here by two screws there those are all 10 millimeters and another one down there all i had to do to get all the wires out was obviously just squeeze those and was able to just pull out once that's pulled out this computer will actually kind of just swing down out of the way and that creates enough room for this box to once you push once you push up on it here you kind of pull down and get this to drop down just a little bit and you're able to slide it over that way so you're pushing up pulling down going that way so now once that is like that this component right here this component right here needs to be removed and it sits in there something like this right here. And it's held on by three screws, one here, one there, and one there. And they're located in, in this area right here. So in order to get those screws, I needed to use, you can use either a drill If you have a 45 degree adapter to put on your drill like so, you can use that, or you can use a screwdriver, uh, a ratchet 
like this to access those screws. You might need to play with the length of the this uh, this adapter right here. You might need to get different different lengths or whatever to make sure you're able to clear everything and able to turn it at the same time. But between this length right here and this, that was actually able to work out perfectly. Um, and once that's out of the way, the next thing you're gonna have to remove is this little plastic cover right here, which is over the AC lines, which is, you're getting really close to where the expansion valve is. And in order to remove that, you're gonna have another Phillips screw down here at the bottom. Uh, similar manner, just remove it with a small ratchet. And it's also held on by a clip at the top. This box is just like so. So once you have the bottom screw taken out down here, you need to take a long Phillips screwdriver and push up, go right through here, and you're gonna push up on this in order to get this to unhook itself from the very top up here. That's where, that's where that little clamp, that's where that little clip is. So you're just gonna push up, take your screwdriver, push up, and that little box will come right off. Now that we're, now that you're at the expansion valve, in order to undo the expansion valve, it has two T25 Torx bits, which is this bit right here. Um, similar fashion on a ratchet, you have to undo that. And you're just going to take a screwdriver like so and work it in between the two in order to pull it out mines end up pulling out from the back of the expansion valve so the expansion valve was still on on this part right here and i just needed to take the screwdriver put it in there wedge it apart and the expansion valve came right out so anyway i'm gonna get the new expansion valve install it on this thing get all this put back together finish up the rest of this job but i just want to make this quick video for you all to hopefully help you in changing out the expansion valve on your vehicle if you feel like it is an issue um also one more quick note i wouldn't necessarily change out this part unless you are seeing some type of liquids coming from this area well or something like that um but if you're doing it, this is how you can do it. So anyway, if you found this video helpful, give this video a thumbs up. And I'd appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.